Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner, and today I wanted to talk about the importance of a spice bucket. always busy looking for a good deal on different types of foods that are going to last long term in our storage and those are super important to have all those foods but when you get down to just your basics if all you've got is rice beans oatmeal you know things like that wheat berries you're gonna want some seasoning it really helps with food fatigue which can be a huge problem when you only have a certain amount of things to eat and if you get down to just rice and beans or even oatmeal or anything like that it gets old pretty quick if you start having to eat it every day every meal to survive so I think, and I have recommended this before, I think it is so important to have spices and a decent variety of spices for all different kinds of meals. And you can really change up your foods with just changing up the spices. So we keep uh, spice buckets is what we call them. It's, I just label it salt, seasonings, etc., things like that. I know in here we've got a whole bunch of different stuff and we try to keep it mixed up so when you open a bucket there's tons of different things in there. And I figured today I could just go through and show you some of the things that we keep in spice buckets in our food storage so you can have some ideas for the types of things that you want. Obviously you are going to like different spices and seasonings and things like that, you know, than everybody else. Not everybody's the same, and that's okay. Make sure, make a list of the stuff you use all the time and things that you really enjoy. And try to focus on getting those into the bucket, those basic things that you really like. Um, that will really help you when you get down to those basics and if that's all you've got to eat because of finances or the economy or God knows what could happen, you never know when emergency is going to strike and if all you've got is what's in your food pantry, you'll be super happy to have a spice bucket. So as far as buckets go, I just use a regular five gallon bucket and this is a gamma seal. I want something airtight so I don't have to repackage the spices. So I use the gamma seal just as long as it is airtight, you're not going to have to repackage them. As long as they're sealed up in new containers, they're going to be just fine in there. Spices last a really long time. And not only does it help with flavoring, spices, there are so many different nutrients that it's going to help you with also. And, you know, like hot peppers, things like that, keep your blood pressure low. It helps with all kinds of stuff. Let's take a look what is in our spice bucket. This is just one of them. I try to keep a few of them going. And I always have a new one, so when I buy new spices, it goes in the newer opened bucket. And then once it's full, it gets sealed up. Um, this is an older bucket that we had and one that we're pulling from, we're starting to pull from here now. And I've already taken out a bag of salt, so there's a little bit of space in here. But normally I pack them right full to the top, as full as I can get them. So we keep different kinds of seasoning packets, gravy, chili seasoning, some salsa mix, even if you don't have fresh tomatoes, you can use a salsa mix in other stuff and it has pretty good flavor. So it does help out. Uh, I've got a pack of cinnamon sticks in here. Those are always good to have. Um, a couple of country gravies. It's like Christmas. I don't even remember what's in here. <laughs> it's been packed away for a while. Um, a pound of pink salt. And like I said, we already pulled one out and we try to just keep it a big mixture of all kinds of stuff. So when we get into these buckets, we've got a bunch of things to choose from. And let's see, I've got a box of baking soda in here, some chicken bouillon from Goya. 
I have got some beef broth base. We love this stuff. It is super good. And I like that these are cubes and this is a powdered. And we really like the powdered because it instantly just dissolves. And then we have a chicken broth base, a container of cocoa. Cocoa lasts a really long time, which is wonderful. Um, taco seasoning, great for soups, casseroles, tons of stuff. Just throw it in your rice and beans. It really adds a lot of flavor um, if you like that taco flavoring. We like it. I love tacos. I love tacos almost as much as I love coffee. <laughs> Um, let's see. I've got some seafood seasoning from Red Lobster. And this is just a bunch of different stuff. There are some basics like paprika. That's one of the basic things. We cook with it a lot. Uh, chili powder. We cook with that a lot. More chili powder. <laughs> uh, garlic powder. Onions, garlic, salt, pepper, all those things, you know, those basics plus the things you like. Because we like heat and, you know, hot peppers and things like that. So we usually have quite a bit of that seasoning around. And here is some, let's see, Cajun style all purpose seasoning. Yummy. And I've got some steakhouse seasoning here, some citric acid for cooking and if you're lots of things you might need citric acid for um, we use it in canning so it's good to have it mixed in there with your stuff so you've got it some creole seasoning yummy uh, black pepper ground cinnamon you definitely want cinnamon if you've got a little bit of raisins and some rice Milk with cinnamon and sugar and raisins and rice. It's pretty good. Um, ground cumin, yummy. Italian seasoning, ground ginger. And, you know, the more you have, the easier it'll be for you to mix things up. And let red, crushed red pepper flakes, uh, minced onions. See, onion powder, cayenne pepper, there's still a few more, some adobo seasoning, and let's see, alum, gotta have that in there, it's also great for canker sores, celery salt, I love celery on everything. Um, and this is garlic and pepper seasoning. So this is just a bunch of different stuff that we like to eat. So we keep all of them in stock in our pantry. And if you've got a bucket with seasoning, it is really going to help you in an emergency when all you've got is your pantry. So I definitely recommend grabbing a bucket um, from your local bakery. Sometimes give them away with the airtight seal or the Chinese restaurant um, in a couple towns from us. They sell their buckets for $3, the bucket with a seal, um, the airtight seal. That's not a bad deal. You do have to wash it out, but you know, and some restaurants may give them away. I know ours sells them for $3, but I still, that's a good deal because when you buy a Walmart bucket, it's $3 and then you've got to get an airtight lid and these gamma lids are pretty expensive. They're, I think I paid $10 for one gamma lid. Um, but you can get like packs of them, six packs or 12 packs, and they're a little bit cheaper that way. And I heard that um, Home Depot and Lowe's carry them. I didn't see those in there locally in our stores. They didn't have anything like that. They are just the regular Lowe's buckets and lids. But, uh, but that is it for today. If you have a favorite seasoning, please leave it in the comments down below. It really helps people remember and you know think about different things that they might like to try or something they might forget to throw in there. So it just helps everybody when you have those favorite little things and you know 
I love helping everyone. I think that is the best part of this channel. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.